friends in this video we are going to study about the instrument digital face meter which is used for the measurement of phase difference between two signals we will study its construction and how it works and then its applications so let us start with our topic <music> suggest digital face meter so this instrument it is going to measure the phase difference between two signals and it is going to give us a digital output Digital output means that it is going to give us the numerical value of the phase difference. So in the if in numbers we are getting the output, that means it's a digital output. If in the form of a waveform or in the form of a continuous signal we are getting the values, so that will be an analog output. So this instrument, digital phase meter, it is giving us the digital output, means the phase difference it will be presented as a numerical value now the simplest technique to measure the phase difference between two signals it uses two flip flops also the frequency of the two signals whose phase difference we want to measure their frequency should be same So the technique which we are going to study here to measure the phase difference between the signals that technique is going to use two flip flops and also the two signals whose phase difference we want to measure they will have the same frequency. Now first of all the signals they must be converted into a square form okay so if we are having the signals whose shape is sinusoidal so their shape will be changed into a square waveform by using the zero crossing detectors so in this technique as i have said that it is going to use two flip-flops so there will be two zero crossing detectors also so that the shape of the input signals that can be changed into a square wave So the signals they are converted into a square waveform without changing their phase positions by the use of a zero crossing detector. Zero crossing detector it is an instrument which is going to detect whenever the signal it crosses the zero value okay. So in a sinusoidal signal This is a sinusoidal signal. So whenever this signal it crosses this zero point, this zero value, this detector is going to detect these conditions. Now this sinusoidal waveform, it has been converted into a square waveform. okay so whenever this is square waveform it crosses the zero value the detector is going to detect that okay so zero crossing detector is that device now we have converted the sinusoidal signals or all the input signals into a square waveform
So we have seen that in this face measurement technique, we will be using two flip flops. We will be using two zero crossing detectors. The input signals, they should be at the same frequency. Then these input signals, they will be first amplified and attenuated. After that, they will be passed through the zero crossing detector. And after that, they will be passed through the two flip flops. So let us first see the block diagram of this digital face meter. And with the help of this block diagram, we are then going to study the working of the digital face meter. So this is the block diagram of the digital face meter. You can see that we are having the two input signals P0 and Px whose phase difference we want to measure. These are the sinusoidal signals. Then these signals are pre-amplified and attenuated. If these signals are having any uh, noise signal with them or any undesirable signals are uh, contained in that, so that will be removed. And also if these are very weak signals, so with the help of the amplifier, these weak signals are amplified. After the amplification and attenuation, these signals pass through the zero crossing detector. Zero crossing detector is going to convert them into the square waveforms. After that, we are having the two JK flip-flops here. You can see that in the JK flip-flops, we are having the input J here. Output is this Q and Q bar. C is the clear signal, CLK is the clock signal, okay? Now, the output of the first flip-flop, you can say that, uh, see that it is connected to the clear signal or clear point of this second JK flip-flop and also the output of the second flip-flop is connected to the clear signal of the first flip-flop. Now the output of this first flip-flop is connected to clear also and is also connected to the main gate. Also the second input of this gate is the clock input. The output of this main gate is connected to the counter and the display unit where the phase difference between the two signals will be displayed. So this is the block diagram of the digital phase meter. Now let's come to its working. So if we talk about the components, we can say that it uh, consists of two pairs of pre-amplifiers and attenuator, two zero crossing detectors, two JK flip-flops and one gate is there and one counter is used. So first step will be that the two signals which are having the phase P0 and Px, they will be applied to the pre-amplifier and the attenuator stages. Now in the earlier, I have told that the frequency of these two signals, it should be same. Then only we can measure the phase difference between the two. So 
Before applying to this uh, pre-amplifier and the attenuator stages, the frequency of these two signals it should be made equal and the phase difference between them will be one signal will be having the phase P0 and another signal will having the phase Px. Now first signal is having the phase P0 okay so as this first signal it is changing from 0 to uh, any value in the positive high uh, in the positive high half cycle when it is increasing in its value so the zero crossing detector when this signal is passed through this zero crossing detector this zero crossing detector is going to change its state from 0 to 1 because here when this signal it increases in its positive half cycle and crosses this zero point so this zero crossing detector is also going to change its value from 0 to 1 it means that it has detected this zero condition as i have explained earlier that this zero crossing detector instrument this detects every time the signal crosses the zero value so when this first signal which is having the phase p naught it increases its value in the positive half cycle and it passes through this zero value the zero crossing detector is going to detect that condition first of all it is reset and it is going to change its value to the high value okay so the output of zero crossing detector becomes one so i have written here that as the p naught input it increases in the positive half cycle the zero crossing detector changes its state when the input crosses zero giving a high at the output okay so whenever this input is crossing the zero value the output of the zero crossing detector will be high Now this high output of the zero crossing detector it is applied to the JK flip-flop. This JK flip-flop because it is having the clock pulses also so this will be enabled. Now this input at this JK flip-flop that when its input is 1 so this output of the JK flip-flop will also be 1. Okay now this 1 output or when this output becomes high this high output will be applied to the and gate and this and gate will be enabled one input is one and here we are having the clock input okay so the clock pulses they are directly fed to this and gate and the and gate will be enabled this is going to start the counter and counter is going to start counting the number of pulses okay so here you can see that when the transition has been made from 
goes zero point, then this flip flop will be high and the counter has a start counting. Okay, so when this zero crossing detector output is one, the counter is a start counting. So I have written here that the high output of the zero crossing detector causes the JK flip flop number one to be set to one, making its output goes high. So this Q value goes high. Now this high output from the flip-flop number one, it is going to enable the AND gate and the pulses from the clock, they are directly fed to the counter. Because one leg of the AND gate is being connected to the Q output of the flip-flop number one and one leg is connected to the clock pulses. So the AND gate will be enabled and the counter, it is going to start counting the number of pulses now you can see that the clear pulse here we are having a uh sorry uh, here this high output it is not only connected to the AND gate but it is also connected to the clear pulse of this clear signal of this flip-flop number two so when this signal is high this flip-flop number two it will be cleared okay So when this one output of this flip-flop one is given to the clear signal of the flip-flop number two, the output of the flip-flop number two will be made equal to zero. Okay, so this will be zero. Now zero is applied to this uh, clear pulse. Okay, so the output of the flip-flop number uh, one, it again goes to zero and the counter, it will stop counting okay so in this way that how these two flip-flops they are interconnected with each other output of one is connected to the clear of second the output of second is connected to the clear of first okay so here 